I apologize that this video isn't about sex, poop, or sucking ducks. It is one of my earlier scripts and I thought I'll just publish it anyways because I already put a bunch of work into it. Let's talk about this crazy thing. Ah yes, a rotten evil critter from my own mad laboratory. If you have been watching my videos, you may have seen this intimidating expression. This is one of my early favorites. At first notice, one might think this is some genuine bit of math. Now if you are math inclined, do pause this video and try to take this hideous beast on your own. Once I reveal this one, you won't be able to unsee just how stupid it is. And stupid it is. It is one of the dumbest equations I managed to create, and damn proud of it. So this whole thing is just a redundant and moronic way of generating the number 1. You know how 1 over 1 times 1 to the power of 1 equals 1? Yeah, this is that, except on steroids. Let's start with this thing here. Ah yes, e to the pi i, the famous Euler identity. I made a previous video explaining how one can use the dark satanic arts of trigonometry and complex numbers to figure this thing out. Because of these occult powers, the irrational numbers e, pi, and the number i combine to make negative 1. Now this whole thing is inside this absolute value bracket, making it just a regular positive 1. This then is under this radical with this intimidating infinity symbol here. So yeah, an infinite root. I don't know for sure, but I feel that an infinity kind of ought to have a limit in front of the whole thing. I think I'm not entirely sure how limits actually work. But this seems to work fine when using Wolfram, so I'll just go with it. Anything to an infinite root is just 1. Except that we don't really have to worry because 1 to any root is just 1 anyway. Just like 1 to the power of anything is just 1. Except for infinity, which means it's simply undefined. Which leaves this ridiculous thing. Negative zero with an explanation mark. Again, more stupid ways to write the number one. So this is a factorial of zero, which has been decided by the math gods to equal one. Now this negative exponent here. So this means that this just goes above the division line. And of course, it just vanishes up there. Just trust me on this one. It just does. The same goes for this guy. The negative on the exponent simply moves it below the division line. Again, trust me, I studied magic. I, I mean math. Okay, now this stupid thing. Natural log of e. This just means 1 again. Probably because logarithms are also evil. They belong to the triad of the unholy exponent. Okay, this 9 over here. So the dash over the digits after the decimal usually refers to a repeating decimal number. This means that 9s go on forever. Which makes this thing, again, just vanish. Don't worry about it, it's magic. So we now have this thing. Ah yes, finally dealing with some real infinities and limits. Okay, so what is this crazy thing? This is another great invention of Leonard Euler. And it has been designed to give math students headaches and nightmares. Well, not really. It is the famous sum notation, and it lets one express large or infinite repetitive additions. In this situation, it basically means this n starts with 1 and goes on and incrementally this many times. This would be a ridiculous equation if it wouldn't be for this other infinity here. So x approaches infinity. Which means we can basically just kind of replace all these with infinity. This first term is just 1 to the infinity, making this into, you guessed it, 1. Making the whole thing just 1. This one here, well, 2 to the infinity is making this entire thing into infinity. In fact, all these will be infinities. And an infinity of infinities would seem like a bad thing except that 1 divided by infinity kind of becomes 0. You know, because limits. And there you go. One giant stupid equation that equals 1 and uses several different ways of deriving the number 1. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give this other small equation a try. Can you figure out what this is equal to? Well, I had a blast making this video. And if you had a blast watching it, check out my other stuff. If you think I should make more, then you know what to do. And thank you very much. I wish to all of you a wonderful day.